These are two dear friends of the David Lynch Foundation, dear friends of mine, and great human beings, and they practice Transcendental Meditation. Ray for over 45 years, 40 years, and Marty for since 2008. Yes, every day. Every day, twice a day, as much as I can twice a day. Um, the thing about it is that there's a kind of a, a peacefulness that I don't think I've ever achieved before, really. And, and I must say, it, you know, it has made uh, a major difference because, uh, particularly in the morning, particularly in the morning, because the amount of things that have to be done and the things you have to worry about, and this, suddenly it just comes together and you stop. I find that I can't do without it that way, literally. I started in 1968 or 69, and it changed my life because, um, like, I was a very ordinary or subordinary student, um, and I, it, it just it brought me a clarity, and uh, it threw, made me independent, made me free flowing. It made me. It, it just gave me lots of gifts. I remember doing um, a film called You Go, which was a film we shot in three dimensions. And it would take about an hour to get there to the studio. But in the morning, I, I would get up maybe 45 minutes earlier to do meditation before I was able to face that set. <laughs> 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 With children actors that can only work for like a minute. <laughs> a dog that wasn't listening. Sasha Baron Cohen who was improvising everything. And, uh, and everything in 3D. And over schedule and over budget. So, you know, uh, God, there's only one thing you could do is calm it down and get into it and deal with the realities. If there is something on my mind, if there is something I'm really worried about in terms of a character development or particularly a uh, uh, thematic issue, um, or just trying to get a shot done, literally, you say, well, we can't do that. We don't have a hallway. It's gotta be a track down a hallway. We have no hall. Now what? Well, what is it about? It's about his face. All right. And so you just forget it. And you go into meditation. That's it. And, you and somehow something came out. I said, damn it. That's, my <laughs> that's, exactly, that's exactly what it's like. That's exactly what it's, it's like, right? Yeah. Because you go into that place. And, and actually, the physiology of the brain is because that comes from the subconscious. That's where your inventiveness, creativity, inspiration come from. So you just go in there, and somehow you come out with the answer. That's it. That really is. Uh, through brain imaging, they show that uh, there are two big effects. Uh, the first is that your amygdala, the part that is causing you the stress, uh, calms down and your prefrontal cortex lights up. And so that brings you an equanimity. If I don't do it, I, I, I tend to waste um, uh, the time, the energy, the franticness, uh, and things can be very, very frantic. And that 20, 25 minutes, whatever that is, is a, a, a godsend. The thing to convey is also how it compounds so that it keeps getting better. Whatever amount that you're meditating, um, next year will be better and the year after that will be better. So uh, I meditate 20 minutes a day except if I've got a busy day, then I meditate 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so experience it yourself. Just, I mean, how much convincing do you need? <laughs>